these ones. Yeah. Again, we're just uh, testing to see about for giveaways for uh, hockey tournaments. We did that with the laser, right? With the laser, with Kermit Boss's laser. And this is a signature right of uh, Rick Nash uh, with the Columbus Blue Jackets. Okay. Uh, it's very detailed, uh, awesome looking. Good. Because how, did you do any other decoration on this? Uh, no. 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 In embroidery, it wouldn't be profitable, no, right? No, embroidery is right out of the question. Uh, this is something that'll stand up to, uh, you know, the locker rooms. Uh, get wet, it's fine, and don't have to worry about it. That's permanently there. The okay. signs are great. Good. Now, the reason I want to do this video, you said something about equipment you bought, and I just made a video today, all of, just this morning, I made a video about how we make everything here. It's 100% Canadian made. Some of the lasers are 85% uh, US content, like the best parts I could find. And uh, I had a lot of trouble buying stuff overseas, and I had a lot of reliability issues and supplier issues. Tell me about your story, because it's really valid. About seven years ago, I went out and bought a $100,000 printer from China through a distributor here in Canada, but after two months the distributor walked away from the deal saying that he wasn't going to deal with that piece of crap anymore. Um, even the manufacturer didn't want to deal with us, he said go after the distributor for the money, so I put another $50,000 in it trying to keep it going for another year and a half. Uh, I was one week away from losing my house, I had to walk away from it, I ended up going bankrupt, uh, but now I'm starting over and everything's looking better with uh, Canadian or American-made products. So. Yeah, and, and it's funny, they got their, everybody got their money, but nobody's willing to help you? Yeah, that was it. They just left me out hanging. You know, just, uh, and and how, did you get somebody here to put in that extra? Like, you spent the extra money, you got somebody here trying to get it to go? Yeah, uh, just a, another, uh, uh, let's say, a technician trying to help me keep it going. But the parts kept breaking down, and, you know, they said, oh, you got to get parts from China, and delay. You know, my customers were waiting for their products, and, you know, I had Bell as a customer, Rona, stuff like that. I had some good contacts, but if you don't supply, you're not going to get their business, right? Yeah. So now I buy everything uh, locally made, and uh, if I have a problem, it's a phone call away, and uh, an hour of technicians going to fix it. But I haven't had any issues yet, so. Yeah. No, but probably, okay. Well, that's so important. I appreciate you yeah. exposing that. That's not something you want everybody to know, but no. it's, it's important yeah. really, yeah. right? What if somebody said to you, oh, you know, it's all changed. We're much better then. Yeah. But much better now. That was yeah. then? No, I won't get burned <laughs> twice. <laughs> no, but, but it, it, it hasn't really, you know. No, it hasn't that, and I always say that they have 10 people lined up behind you and me who will replace and try and buy. Yeah. So they really don't even care. And no. now they're getting to the point where their economy alone is able to give them business more than we would give them because they're so big yeah. so they really don't care because no. now you're a headache you got to translate right. email whatever so that's why i feel it's so important yeah no we gotta buy canadian and keep our economy going and what goes around comes around and we need to stay here yeah, yeah. you got three americans too i mean they're a big americans. partner of ours oh, right yes, yeah. Sure, yeah. we trade enough yeah. with the NAFTA and everything yeah. okay good yeah. thank you okay see you thank you <laughs>